We're live in Best Chicago Wholesale Deals Facebook group. <clears throat> Let's live in Best Chicago Wholesale Deals. Making sure my audio is working. So welcome to the group. If you're just uh, joining the group, uh, we have new people joining every day. Uh, so if you're just joining this group, we have uh, about 180 plus videos on how, how to flip in casual houses. So we're, uh, if you go to the featured section, you'll see like the new recent replays. If you want to see the really old stuff, you go to the guides and it goes to older ones. But I recommend going to featured and then you can watch replays. If you have a specific question, you can go to the search feature and just search that question. And I probably answered it. Maybe you want to learn how to do Airbnbs. Um, you can see all the video trainings I have on Airbnb. If you want to learn how to do rent to owns, wholesaling. So you see, I have a ton of maybe 10, 20 videos on doing Airbnb. Um, so welcome to the group. It's uh, been doing this just to, to help people. Uh, of course, we use it for partnerships. We help people, serve people, and then we form partnerships on, on deals. So that's the goal. Um, today we're going to be talking about a deal that we closed with one of our, one of our partners. We made 46,300 off one deal. And that's close to what I used to make at working, uh, a job for one year, right? So um, our goal is to help you close deals, partner on deals. Uh, the Facebook group is Best Chicago Wholesale Deals Live. Uh, so if you're in the group already, great. If not, check it out. Um, and our goal is to help you. And hopefully in return, we uh, partner on a deal in the future, right? Looking for deals. We're sending new deals out every week in the Chicago area. This is uh, Best Chicago Wholesale dot com forward slash buyer um sign up to our email list you'll get our wholesale deals that we have um off market that we send out every week and you'll get new deals in your inbox if you're looking to buy deals and if you have a deal you need a buyer um email us all the details email us all the information here russell at best chicago wholesale deal dot com shoot us an email with the deal and we will take a look at it right um, so we just closed a deal with one of our partners, made 46300 It was a big commercial deal, 18-unit deal. Uh, we're going to go over how we found it, how we analyzed it, how we got the contract signed, how we sold the deal. So this is one of our partners, Sam. We closed the deal with him, and it was uh, it took a long time to close because of uh, the city of Riverdale has very specific city requirements that need to be repaired. And there was a bunch of issues that the seller had to fix before he can sell the home. So it did take a few months to go from uh, contract to close. But we finally closed it. I think we closed it last month or it may, it may have been a little bit over a month. But um, my partner, Sam, found this deal just from uh, talking to people. He actually, the funniest thing about this deal is that he used to live in this property. And he knew the, of course, he knew the landlord, right? So um, that is one of the great ways to get deals today is just basically go through everyone you know and tell them what you're doing, right? So if you're in wholesaling, you're looking for uh, fix and flips, you're looking for deals, you should just go in your phone book and then just contact everyone that's in your in your phone book, right? Just say, hey, I'm looking for, hey, I may, maybe you haven't talked to this person in a while. We haven't talked in a while, but I just want to let you know what I'm doing. You know, we're looking for investment properties. If you know anyone looking to sell, let us know. And I'm guilty. I haven't done that in a long time, gone through my phone book and started calling people. But that's a great way to uh, get deals is just to go through your through your your uh, go through your contacts and your cell phone and just start messaging them. Right. And that's the way this deal was found was just through networking. You know, again, again you know, he used to live there and, you know, he knew the landlord. He knew who was selling it. So, and this is a tricky one to analyze. And this deal could have also been found off of Deal Machine. It was, uh, this was like an absentee owner, uh, corporate owned property that had a lot of equity. So you could have actually pulled a list of uh, people that own a corporation that owned a property that was free and clear in Riverdale. And you could have actually gotten this deal where you could have contacted the owner. So that's the other way you could have gotten this deal is 
basically, uh, you know, we use, we're using deal machine now where you can get a limited skip trace leads to contact. So if you check this out, you just go to, you know, let's say that I'm targeting my target market is uh, Riverdale, Illinois. Well, I don't know why I went over there. But let's say my target, my target market is um, Riverdale, Illinois. You just type in the city that you want to target. And then you're going to go to uh, the type of leads you want. So, you know, if we, we were targeting corporate owned and uh, free and clear properties and I hit match. So that means it has to be owned by a corporation and owned free and clear. And that, that 18 unit in Riverdale would have popped up on this list. So you can see there's 1,059 leads here. So you can... You, you know, you can work this list through Deal Machine. What's awesome is that in seconds, I have the leads. In seconds, I have the seller's phone numbers. I have their emails. And I have all the property data on it, like uh, uh, who owns it. You see the, the owner is in a trust, Chicago Title Land Trust. You can see <clears throat> what type of, you know, lead it is. It's a uh, free and clear, corporate-owned, high equity. It's off-market. And if the property is listed, it will tell you too. And also it has um the year they bought it, the last uh the last uh sale price, what they bought it for. It tells you if they're behind in their taxes, it tells you everything about the property, how many bedrooms, bathrooms, what type of building uh property is it? This one's a condo, year built. So it's got everything in here, right? And you can and what's great is that when you're calling these sellers, like I can just start calling this uh, phone right now, um, you know the year they bought it, how much they bought it for, you know everything about the property. And typically you just don't know, the only thing you don't know is like, what's the what's the condition of the inside? You can go to Google Maps right from Deal Machine and you can actually, if there is a street view, um, you can see a street view, but this one doesn't have it. But you can see everything pretty much on the property. The only thing you don't know is, um, you know, what's the condition of the inside, right? Like you have pretty much everything here. You just need to know, you know, you're just calling the owner. Hey, are you the owner? You want to offer on your home? We're investors. And you're just trying to find out, hey, what's the condition of the inside of this property, right? So and that's that's all we're doing. Uh, we're having our cold callers call leads and they're just saying, hey, you're the owner. They verify you're the owner of this trust or the owner of whatever's showing up on, on here like that. The mailing address, 99% 90, 90 of the time, 99% of the time, who go, the mail goes to is the owner. So uh, we're just verifying they own it, verifying they want an offer. And then and then uh, we're verifying the information, uh, such as, you know, beds, baths, square footage. And then we're just trying to figure out what's the condition of the inside. And once we have that those answers, we can make a, we can make a good offer on the property, right? And... Um, that's how the other way you could have found this deal. But again, my uh, partner on this one found it just through uh, his network. Networking. And what's cool is that, I don't know if you guys have a Mac, I have a MacBook. So you can see I have a Mac, uh, I have messages on my MacBook here. What you guys can do is like, let's say you want to try to go through your contact list pretty, contact list pretty quickly. If you go to Gemini, dot google you can have uh it write messages for you hey um i'm contacting my uh, leads in my phone book seeing if uh, anyone has a property for sale or is interested in selling give me 20 different text messages I can use, right? So you want to go through your phone book, uh, your contact list. You can, you know, just do a get messages from Gemini. You know, of course, uh, you see, that I got twenty messages. I can copy and paste. So I can just go start with, uh, you know, I'm in my contacts. I'm going to start with the first person under A's, and I'm going to start messaging. Hey, Aaron reaching out to you, see if you know anyone is interested in selling a property. And then you want to rotate these messages because if you're sending the same thing over and over and over again, uh, your cell phone carrier might think you're a robot, right? And might block your number. So 
I'm going to send this message and then you're going to go, go down your contact list. You know, I'm going to contact pretty much everyone I can come in contact with. I'm going to, I'm going to start with the A's. You see that I got like a hundreds. I probably got maybe like a couple hundred under just A's alone. So I'm contact everyone and just seeing, Hey, seeing if you're going to selling. And this is a great way to get leads. Just people already in your own, in your own uh, phone book, in your own contacts, in your own contacts that you uh you already have their phone number you just just send them a text um you can call as well but of course that would take longer you can shoot them shoot them over a text and then boom you got you got uh you contact 100 people today that are, already know who you are and you're just let, reminding them of what you do right and i'm guilty i haven't done this in a long time but uh you know my partner uh that closed this deal just motivate me to do that Uh, just one deal, 46000 Again, we just found it from networking, contact contacts. Uh, other ways to network that I when I started were, and if other ways to network when I started were going to all the real estate meetings, re REI meetup groups, going to, uh, going to uh, every real estate meeting you could think of. And me and Sam, I think we've done maybe four or five deals together. Um, We did a couple big one, another big one like this one, um, but uh, if you're if you're at that point where you've closed quite a few deals, four or five, six deals, um, what I do personally is I I help people, I train them and and teach them what I do, and in return we partner on deals, right? So I mentor people, people come in, they get mentorship. I uh, teach them everything I know about how to find deals, how to negotiate, how to how to get the get uh how to uh run the numbers. We analyze the deal for them, um, and then we get it under contract, and then we partner on the deal. We split profits. So if you're at that point, like you've closed three, four, five, six, I think I would say at least five deals on your own from start to finish. Maybe you're doing wholesale deals. Start mentoring people. Right, this is how I got this deal. Of course, we split the profit. We fifty fifty. Uh, we made twenty three thousand a piece. Um, but I didn't talk to the seller. I didn't meet with the seller. I didn't go to the seller's home. Um, Sam met with the seller. He negotiated the contract with the seller. Went to the property. Um, show the property. Uh, show the property to the buyers, and uh, we partnered on it. Right, we split the profits on it. And if you're at that point again, like you've closed five deals, start doing this. Right. You can do just copy what I'm doing, start a Facebook group, start mentoring people um, and give back. Right. Like if you know if you close five deals on your own, hopefully you made anywhere from 20,000 to 50,000 without using your own cash or credit. I'm sure people want to learn, learn that from you. Right. How you did that. Right. So in my opinion, don't get stuck. I see a lot of people get stuck. They close their first deal. They close their 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 fifth deal on their own. And they're still on their own closing their 20th deal. And, and they're, they're never getting to that point of uh, hiring where they're hiring a VA um, or mentoring where they are uh, start mentoring other people and start closing more deals. Because once you start building a team of VAs and people you mentor with, you start partnering on more deals. You start um, uh, getting more deals under contract because you, you have more people making offers on your team, right? <clears throat> so in my opinion... And I see a lot of people just, you know, they, they close like 20, 30 deals and all of a sudden the market slows and they get out of the business because they don't have a team, right? Like like the reason why I've, I've stayed in business and, and consistently are closing deals uh, is because I have a team, right? I wake up like literally every day there's 20, 30 deals that um, an, an owner said they want an offer and we look at it for our team, analyze it, and we make sure they're making the right offers, right? And you can only do that by, again, uh, start mentoring people. Um, you can uh, split profits with them, teach them everything you know. And the other way is hiring. Uh, we hire uh, like cold callers that are, are calling people every day, making offers every day. And I have my partner, Andre, who's, I think we closed six deals where we have three more in closing. He just hired a VA. And the VA has already got like three deals under contract with like those three deals probably have about 40,000 in profit coming in uh, just on three deals alone. And the VA just started like uh, uh, less than a month ago.
right? And that's just from uh, hiring someone. So one guy is bringing in 40,000 in revenue. Of course, you can pay, you know, if you're paying him 2,000 a month, you can pay that over and over and over again, right? So how we analyze this deal, this deal was a little tricky. Uh, there is no exact comps. So with commercial deals, um, how we analyze it, how, especially like in the South side where it's like a section eight area, investors deal with a lot of headache. Um, if you're like this building here is in Riverdale, it's a lower end area. It's more like a section eight area. So <clears throat> these, these investors that buy it, fix it, rent it, they have to deal with a lot of headache, a lot of turnover, um, a lot of uh, repairs because, you know, lower end uh, doesn't, they don't take care of the property as, you know, much as the higher end areas, of course. So um, they want like a 10% return, uh, typically, if you're, if you're looking at the low end areas. So the way we comp this one, of course, we would like to see actual sold comps that are comparable with the similar, similar amount of units, similar uh, size. But this one didn't have any of that. So th the way we comp this one was uh, through through uh, a 10% uh, return on investment. So after the repair. So so we basically estimated the rehab costs, estimated the purchase price, and uh, we, we sold based upon a 10% return on investment. So I can show you our advertisement for this one. So you can see we actually... Um, I was actually uh, advertising this for three seventy five, and this actually sold for four hundred. And the reason is because we had uh, a showing where there was about like twenty people showed up, and then it got bidded up to four hundred. So that's how we got the bigger spread on this deal. So we were we were originally just advertising for like a twenty five thousand uh, dollar fee, and then we got a lot more. Um. So you can see our ad, um, potentially rent for up to 21200 per month after rehab. And then uh, calculating like, you know, the taxes, the insurance, you know, maintenance expenses uh, after after uh, um, all expenses, you're probably looking at like a 10% return, you know, with the 379 plus the, the rehab. So every unit probably needed uh, maybe 20 grand worth of rehab. Um, even the occupied ones were, there's 10 occupied and they were, they are all need uh, cosmetic updating. So when one unit left, they probably have to update each unit. So um, we estimated that, Hey, one, once I put in, you know, 200 grand rehab, 375,000 purchase price, I need to get have a 10% cash, cash on cash uh, return on investment on this property. And you can see, um, I don't know if this, let me make sure. No, the pictures are, the pictures are gone. But the, the this is a, I was going to show pictures, but this is a cosmetic rehab. Again, how we got the contract signed, our partner, Sam, knew the owner. Um, he actually lived there. So he met with the owner, negotiated the deal. So he sent me the deal first i analyzed it told him like the best number we would be at i told him 350 and then he went negotiated the contract i think it's this was like uh i made that offer like six seven months ago before they even signed so it was a, a process right like it was like six seven months of follow-up uh with the seller right uh i'm not exactly sure if it was six or seven but it was a it was a while we made the offer and then took like a pretty pretty long while of follow-up to um, to actually get this under contract from uh, our partner. Hey, David, you need help on a park forest deal? Um, yeah, shoot me over email with the deal. We'll take a look at it, man. Thanks. And we'll see what we can do. So again, we, we uh, uh, the, the, most of your deals are going to come through follow-up. Um, and that, that's, uh, uh, one thing people, this is why people quit, right? Like they get in and they they make, you know, they go all in for a month. They're all excited. Two months, they're all excited. And they're consistently making offers. They're not getting any deals. Um, uh, and they never follow up with anyone. That's probably why you don't get any deals, right? Like uh, most of your deals are going to come through the follow-up, 
Uh, again, we made an offer six, seven months ago on this deal. And then six, seven months later of consistent follow-up every month, uh, just following up with the seller, saying, hey, if you change your mind, see if you're interested in, in taking our offer. Um, and, and then we finally got the deal. And most deals are the same. Most deals probably never, I would say more than 80% of the deals that we get are uh, we first make the offer and then we don't get it and we just follow up, follow up, follow up consistently, right? And if you're not following up, you really don't have a business. And I think this goes for every business out there. Like everyone knows that, hey, I need a follow-up list. I need a, a list that I'm uh, following up with consistently day in and day out, right? Like we um, had deals where three years of follow-up, we made 20 grand. Two years of follow-up, we made 10 grand. Right. So it's, it's a, it's always, you always have to consistently follow up and you have to look at it as, you know, today I may have zero deals to follow up with. I'm just getting started, but in three months, six months from now, all of a sudden you, you made 500 offers and now you have a list of 500 you're following up with every single month. Right. And that's when you have a business. That's when business becomes easy is when you have a thousand leads every single month to follow up with all you do is follow up and you get deals you follow up and get deals right like for us if we just every month we just follow up with our list and we get a deal on our contract right like you just and that's that's how you um got to think about it every day like after i get off of work like if you have a job um what am i gonna do am i gonna am, am i gonna um sit down and make offers and build my follow-up list so that i can have a Forty thousand dollar deal six seven eight months from now, or what? Or am I going to watch the game, right? Or watch my favorite TV show, or, or waste my time on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok? You know, like, like those things don't um, build your company, your legacy. Those things don't build anything, right? What you want to do is focus every day on how can I get more leads in my follow up. The bigger I build my follow up database the big the 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 more deals I'm eventually going to get right that and that's how this deal was done it was six seven months of follow-up and another two two close to three months of uh dealing with the city of Riverdale to try to get it closed <clears throat> and how we sold the deal was um through our uh just our email list we have a email list of like forty thousand plus investors realtors on our list that we send deals out to every single week um so we basically sent the deal out to our email list set up a showing um of course is uh i think 10 units were occupied so we had to try to get into uh a lot of the units that were occupied as well so we had a showing with maybe like i think uh had had been like 15 maybe 20 people at the showing and we literally had like six seven offers the same day and we, and the 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 deal got bidded up to 400,000 <clears> and uh that that's that's uh uh one of the best ways to sell your deal is uh especially if it's occupied just try to get everyone in at the same time rather than going back and forth doing a showing every other day it's best to try to get everyone in at the same time frame the same the same uh uh showing so you don't have to go back and forth right so how can I repeat this over and over again? Consistently follow up, like take your um, every month, you know, just go through your contact, go to your phone list. Uh, you know, if you're just getting started in real estate, nobody knows what you're doing yet. So everybody should know what you do. Your, your, your cousins, your uncles, your aunties, your grandma, your grandpa, your mom, your dad, everyone. You should be contacting everyone in your phone list, texting them, telling them what you do, telling them you're looking for deals telling them if you have anything for sale and yeah, just use, um, you can use, uh, the, the, uh, chat GPT or Gemini to, uh, make messages for you. So it's faster. Um, and go through your, go through your phone list every, you know, you, you can easily contact a hundred people a day, um, see if they have anything for sale or know anyone that has anything for sale that you're looking for deals and, uh, consistently do that. Right. And just think like, what am I doing every day, right? Like, um, I go to work, I make my boss rich, I come home, I watch my favorite sports uh, team, I watch my favorite TV show. You're making the 
celebrities rich, the athletes rich on TV. Um, but what are you doing to build your business every day? Like, what are you doing? Right. Like, like the main thing in this business is making offers offer gets rejected. I put them in follow up and I'm consistently going to follow up with this guy um, every single month. Right. Um, so, so build your follow, look at it as like a seed, like you plant a seed and you're just building it, building it, building it, building it. Right. And for me, I think it took me like six months to close my first deal. But after six months, I had, um, a huge follow-up list. I had maybe 500 people in my follow-up that I made offers on. And then that's when business became easy is I just followed up, got a deal, follow up, got a deal. Right. So think about, um, every day what you're doing at the end of the day um plant those seeds you know once you make the offer you're planting the seed and then hopefully that that offer you made today maybe maybe it doesn't become a contract today but in three four or five months uh that deal becomes a contract and you're trying to do that every single day um making offers and following up and building that building your follow-up list as big as possible right So if you are in need of mentorship, partnership, handholding, uh, go to kingdomreiacademy.com. Check it out. Uh, we have a mentorship partnership where we give you access to our CRM to make offer a deal machine with unlimited skip trace leads. So check it out, kingdomreiacademy.com. There's a presentation there. Uh, we just ask everyone to watch that before joining. A 90-minute presentation just showing you how everything works, right? And of course, before we end, um, we are getting into the Word of God, the Bible. I don't know about you, but if you've never read it before, you got to read it. Um, it's just uh, you want change in your life. You want to be transformed. You want to you want to be a new person. You want to be renewed. Um, read the Word of God because it's powerful. It can change everything about uh, who you are, what you do, how you act, everything. Um, so in Matthew 7, 7, 11, it says, ask and it will be given. And this is uh, Jesus talking. He says, ask and it will be given to you. So first and foremost, are you asking God? Are you talking? Like he's, he's, he's saying, ask me, ask God, it will be given to you. So first and foremost, if you are in need of something or you're, uh, you know, you, you're, you're uh, hoping your business gets better. Do you pray about, do you pray about that? Do you ask God um, to, to help you? Right. So if you never, like, if you go throughout life and you never ask God, it's like you, you're in control. Like you think you're in control of everything, but you're not. God is right. Seek and you will find. So he's saying, ask him and then seek. So when you pray and you ask, you don't just pray and ask, but then you seek it, you find it, you find the answers, right? Like, God, I'm asking for, you know, a business that's good. I'm, I'm going to be able to quit my job, make 10 grand a month, right? Like you have to pray and ask God for guidance and then you seek it, right? You have to find it. Like, what is that? What is that? You know, what am I looking for? Right. And then knock and it will be open. So there is action. So you have to take action, right? You have to get up off the couch you have to put your tiktok and your instagram and your facebook down and you have to take action and do something right so god's saying here ask pray ask me seek seek it and then knock and it'll be open to you for everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks you will find and the one who knocks it'll be open so if you ask god and then you seek it meaning that you you're finding answers you're looking you're searching you're looking for answers on how to get there you know on on where you're going you need, you're looking for answers on direction where to go the way to go right and then the one who knocks it will be open and then knocking is taking the action right the first step educating yourself knowing what you need to do having a action plan having uh goals right like okay this is my goal okay i want to make 120,000 a year in real estate, right? And okay, what do I need to do every single day to make 120,000 a year? Okay, I need to make three, five offers a day, five days a week, right? Okay, now how do I find these three to five leads that I need to make offers on every day, right? So now you, you're, you're, you have a goal, you have an action plan, and now you know what to do every day. And now you, and then you find out how to find these leads. Where are they? 
Well, how do I find them, right? And then you got to get up. You got to take action. You can't just sit on your butt and do nothing, right? You can't. Unfortunately, a lot of Christians, we pray and then we just sit there thinking that, you know, I just sit here. I'm going to get some, I'm going to open my mailbox one day and there's going to be a million dollar check, right? And that's not how it works. <clears throat> or which which one of you, so in verse nine, or which one of you, if he asks his, if his son asks for a bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your own children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him? Right? So when's the last time you actually prayed and asked God, right? Um, today I ask, I try to pray about everything. Like every time I send an email out, I ask God to sell this deal. Every time I get an Airbnb, I ask God to prosper. Every time I, um, do anything, I try to, I, I don't do it every single time, but I try to ask God for his help and his guidance. So, um, when's the last time you actually prayed and asked God for his help, for his guidance, for his wisdom, for, um, his supernatural power to intervene in your life and and uh, and uh, take care of you and and answer your prayers, right? So ask and it will be given to you, and then you have to seek it. So ask God, pray, and then the next step is seek it, and and then you will find, right? So whatever you're asking and praying for, go seek it. Get up, right? Like you're you're single and you're asking to be married. And you're praying to God to help you. You have to be, get up out of the house and then go find, right? You have to go to church and go to the singles group, right? So, so same thing in business. Like once you you have, you're, you're asking God to, to prosper you in your business and your real estate business, you have to go seek the strategies, the 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 knowledge, the 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 information, the roadmap, the guy, the step by step directions on how to get there, right? And then once you have those directions. You have to go and and knock, knock on the door, open the door and go through, right? And it will be open to you, right? So um Jesus is here teaching us on how to how to get our prayers answered, right? And he's telling us and it's not just take it's not just asking. You should ask. That's the first step. Asking is prayer. The second step is find knowledge, educate yourself, know what you're doing, have a, a GPS and know the direction you're going, how you're going to get there. And then the last step is take action, right? Do something about it. Don't just sit there and complain and say, I have no time to do that. But yet you're, you know, still watching your, your favorite TV show every night and you're watching the news every night and you're watching uh, your favorite, uh, you're watching, you're on your Facebook live, watching streaming videos or TikTok or Instagram, but you don't have time to pursue your dream in real estate and your business to, uh, uh, to hit your goals and succeed. Right. So Matthew 7, 7, 11 is a great, um, great, uh, verse on how to get your answer, your prayers answered. Right. And God wants what's good for you right here. It says, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things? He wants good things for you, right? Who ask him. And he wants you to talk to him, have a relationship with him. He wants, you know, talking to God is having a relationship with him, right? Like it's not, I always say it's not um, religion. It's a relationship. He wants you to talk with him, spend time in his word, spend time in the Bible reading his word, listening to it, understanding it, um, taking it in, letting it transform how you think, how you see the world, let it transform how you uh, do business, everything about you, let it transform um, your actions and what you do and everything, right? So ask God, pray to him, talk to him, and then seek what you're looking for, and then uh, knock, take action, and it will be open to you. So I pray that um, we do, we take these uh, steps when we're praying to God, um, that uh, we talk with you, Father, that we spend time with you, that we 
uh, read your word, we listen to you, we understand it, we comprehend it, and we also, we don't just know your word, but we become doers of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. So we're going to end here. If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. Um, we'll be live in the other group at 7. Um, so reach out if you have any questions, my email, my phone. And uh, hopefully this helped you guys. Um, so we'll be back live. And we're doing this every two weeks now in the group. And then I also have a series going out. Like um, I'm just giving all my uh, membership training that I have in the membership group away for free. And I'm doing a series with a new student and then with another student who's closed like six six uh, plus deals with us already. And we're releasing those every week. So every week we're releasing a new training video on um, just going from getting started to closing deals. And then we're going to release a new series with a student that we close six deals with. And then the goal is to um outsource and show you the hiring process and then show you um how to scale it with mentoring people and stuff like that so every week so ch uh, check out those videos we're gonna release them maybe once or twice a week they'll be already pre-recorded and we're gonna we're, we send them out in the facebook group and we send an email out as well and basically it's just all my uh training in my membership group area i'm just uh Re redoing all that and I'm giving that all away for free and all these trainings are going to be in this Facebook group and it's also uh you know we'll, we'll post them on on probably YouTube the ones that we can so hopefully this helped you guys uh we'll see the uh membership group area in set at seven we'll, we'll be live in Kingdom Mario Academy uh Facebook group for the members so god bless and we'll see you guys let me stop my share.